Hey guys, Corey here, BPB. Today we are working on a 2017 Charger. Um, he's wanting the fiberglass hood painted, and what a what a perfect time for this video since we just did the last series on the GTO. Um, you guys seen how we um, kind of blended in the hood um, to make it, you know, a perfect color match. We blended it into the fenders and stuff. Well, this guy here doesn't really want to do that. He wants to just paint the hood. And he's willing to take the risk of the collar not being 100% perfect. That's always a risk you take. So um, if it's not 100% perfect, then he wants to bring it back later and get it blended in. And that's no problem. But uh, for now, he's just willing to take the gamble. So um, we'll go take a look at that and also a couple other things we're going to be spraying while we're doing this job this week. All right, guys, there it is. Um, I believe it's a 17 Charger. It's a sweet looking ride. We've got a few things we're going to do to it. Um, we're going to go ahead and paint the hood, top and bottom, and make it match. Um, the fitment is not the best. You can see the gaps over here is real tight, real, real, real tight in the back here. Um, this side is off, so we're going to play with that a little bit and try to line this up real nice. And, um, then we've got a little spot here we're going to try to get out for him if we can. It's a, uh, it's like a bug or something to get it kind of etched in the clear coat a little bit. So we're going to try to sand and buff that out a little bit better. And also some scratches up here. He requested we try to get out. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. They're uh, pretty nasty. Phew. Yeah, there they are. Um, we're going to try to sand and buff them out and I'll kind of walk you guys through the process a little bit. If you have scratches in your clear coat like this that are not all the way through to the primer or through to the metal, um, how, how you can get them out and make it look a lot better. So um, Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these other parts. <clears throat> um, also we'll be spraying this helmet this week and um, this is a bumper for a 2008 I think it is um, Ford F-150. Um, it's needing sprayed and then um, I'll call him later on in the week when it's sprayed and he'll bring his truck back and we'll slap it on. Let's set this tripod up guys and we'll um, start getting this hood off. Alright guys, um, went ahead and straightened out the hood a little bit, uh, loosened the bolts up and uh, the latch here in order to get the hood to come up because it was sitting a little bit too low two 10 millimeter bolts there and there. I loosened them up, raised this up and to the right a little bit and uh, set it back in place. And then I loosened these two 13 millimeter bolts on each side, very slightly lowered the hood down like so. Got a nice, perfect, even gap on both sides. And then raised it back up just slightly like this so you don't so the hood don't slide back and lose your and lose your um you know settings that you just made on the hood raise it up slightly like so and then just reach in there and tighten up your bolts back and that's how i do it and it seems to to work it don't slide around too much on you then so then we got it um now it shuts perfect. The gaps are, uh, you know, 100% even both sides, front and rear. Nice fit. It's a good quality hood. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and take it off now and um, go ahead and prep it for paint. I mean, not, there's nothing else I can really do to it. It's, it's in good shape. There's no, 
not any grinding or cutting any really to do on it. So we'll go ahead and uh, set this tripod up and yank it off and uh, go ahead and get the sanding on it. All right, guys, we got the hood off, as you guys can tell from the time lapse. Uh, we've got everything set up here, ready for paint, and I kind of want to walk you through the process of how we're going to get that ready. So come over here and we'll take a look at um, what we're using. <clears throat> we've got um, Scotch Bright Multiflex Abrasive Sheets. They are. Um, around 320 grit I believe um, they work perfect for this type of job but uh, this is going to be pretty easy pretty simple this hood had a really really good coating on it um, not a lot of pits or pinholes or uh, anything like that it uh, it really it really turned out nice so just a simple scotch bright on this one and uh, as well same for the um, bumper and the helmet basically just scotch bright them and uh, they'll be ready and I'll just uh, show you guys how that's done you can see the shine just go right away it's back and forth all you want to do is get rid of the shine you don't want to sand your coating off these this come with a really good primer coating so um, you know you don't want to burn through that and make sure you're also checking for any dents or dings or scratches you know, as you're uh, getting it ready, anything will, you know, any dents or dings will show right through your paint. So you you might have to do a little body work even though it's a new panel. Unfortunately, it happens. But um, I'll just continue on like this with this whole um, bumper and get it all nice and dull like this. And uh, same thing with the helmet and the hood. And we'll be back. All right, everything is um, fully scotch brighted. Um, the bumper, the helmet, I couldn't just scotch bright. If you guys could probably tell in the time lapse, um, I had to work my way up with from 220 to 320, and then I finished it off with the scotch bright. But uh, there was a, just a bunch of nicks, tons and tons of nicks and scratches in this thing, and we didn't want to leave any of that, so. I feathered it all out real nice. Now, um, everything turned out really good. I've got one little spot, or I mean two little spots here. Here's one of them. A nasty little pinhole there. That'll show. It'll look ugly with paint on it, so I'm going to fill that. And uh, there's another one somewhere over here. Oh, right there. Um, so I'm going to fill those real quick. And um, with just a little tiny bit of up body filler, and we'll be ready for paint. All right, we got the top and bottom um, completely ready for paint. You guys can tell that shine's gone now. It's nice and dull. I've got all my spots filled. Um, this ended up being a little bit low there, too, so good thing I did that. Um, Top's done. It's completely ready. Um, so now, what's next? So what we're going to do is set you guys up on the tripod and um, hang this hood up on those hooks. And then we'll give it all a good thorough wipe down. We'll probably have to put something underneath the uh, bumper to lift it up off the table because we've got to be able to spray the whole bumper. But... Uh, I usually can find something, so let me set you guys on the tripod. Alright, next we're going to uh, give everything a good uh, tack in. We already wiped it off with wax and grease remover, just sprayed it all and wiped it off with uh, cloths. Um, Next we're going to tack it off 
it's just a um, real simple tack cloth, nice and clean, uh, brand new. And so all this is going to do is get off uh, all of the dirt and contaminants, every, anything and everything that's left over. Um, you know, basically the left behind that you missed. You don't want anything in your paint if you can help it. It's nice and quick overall, all, you know, all three pieces. It doesn't take long at all. Just uh, keep going. When you're done, you're not gonna see um, anything different. Nothing's gonna change. It's not gonna look any different to you. It's just kind of gonna wipe the dust off. <laughs> this is just those extra things I like to do. Some people skip this stuff, but it's extra stuff I do to try to give that beautiful shiny finish, you know, no no trash, no dirt in the paint. That's the goal here. No rough spots or raised spots. You don't really want to have to sand and buff on this, especially being a fiberglass hood. That's it guys. We'll, we'll um, go ahead and get the uh, sealer out. All right. Um, for the sealer, we're going to just use uh, you pull uh, high build primer. I use it uh, as primer. I just mix it up four to one. But if I'm going to use it as a sealer, I mix it up four one to one with urethane reducer, and that thins it out a little bit and allows it to lay out really nice. No, no uh, cottage cheese effect. But. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it, I don't need much, so I'm just going to put a coat over the helmet, a light coat over the whole helmet, and um, spot the spots on the hood that's got body work, because you can't leave your body work unprimed. But um, I'm going to go for the 4 to 1, because that's what's on the can, that's what it calls for. You can see uh, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1. I'm going to aim for the 4 to 1, I think I'm probably going to need about... Um, maybe the two or the three. So I'm just going to aim for the three here. No set amount. I, this is just guessing. Uh, which I think two is probably enough. We'll stop there. Um, next we'll add the hardener. And this is the one where you want to go one part of. So you can see the two right, just slightly above it right there. That's what we're aiming for. Not much. Okay. And then for the reducer, same thing. You can see the other one over here on this side. That's what we're aiming for. That's the other one part. We'll run that reducer up to there. And that should be thin enough to um, spray out like sealer. Let's get this stuff put in the gun and we'll get the spray.
20 PSI, like the can says. Uh, just a nice, even, light coat on everything. And when we get to our bodywork over there, we'll just barely dust it on. All right, primer is dry. The helmet's good and dry. We will um, take a Scotch Bright and a tack cloth over these real quick. Just kind of knock off the roughness from where we sprayed it. Um, you can kind of hear it a little bit. We will uh, just barely run our, you know, Scotch bright across all that, the whole thing again, and make sure there's nothing loose and gonna get in our paint. And uh, we'll go ahead and set this thing up on the tripod and start spraying. All right, the uh, paint for this is, first we're gonna do the bumper. It's uh, golden bronze. Kinda like a copper color almost. Good looking collar. Um, that's for our bumper. We're going to go ahead and give it a good um, coat. And then we'll cover it up. And then we'll spray a couple coats of uh, black on our helmet. And a real light coat of black on our hood. Just to kind of mask that white a little bit. And um, so it doesn't take so much of his top coat to cover the hood. But... Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and, uh, oh, this stuff is Wanda base. It mixes up at uh, two to one with our uh, mid temp producer. So, um, yeah, it's already ready. I've already got it all stirred up. So let's get at it. All right, guys, here we go. All right, bumper is sprayed. We went ahead and uh, placed some paper over the top of it so it doesn't get the overspray from this other stuff on it. Um, next, we're gonna mix up some black base coat. Um, it mixes up 
two to one also. It says right there. Um, one to one optional, two to one normal. So anywhere in between there is just fine. It does not have to be perfect. Uh, it's, you know, at all. So let's go ahead and grab a cup and um, let's see. Get this stuff in there. Uh, this can's been setting for a while, so I'll probably go ahead and have to put it in the shaker. If you guys don't have a paint shaker um, and you're doing this kind of stuff, definitely something you want to invest in. Let's get this thing shaking and we'll be back. All right, got the black in the gun, and um, we are uh, ready to spray. Let's set this thing on the tripod and get the... Uh, hood blacked and the helmet blacked and we'll be back black is sprayed um, the hoods or I mean <laughs> the helmet is ready for um, the flat clear coat kind of look it's got a little bit of a shine to it and that flat clear coat flattens that out even more um, the uh, hood I just kind of darkened it up a little bit just to have to use less of that other paint but um, one decent light coat of black should do it we will go ahead and uh, mix up the collar for that and go ahead and get it sprayed on and then we'll be ready for our clears. Um, this color is granite crystal. So um, we'll go ahead and mix it up. It mixes up uh, two to one also, or you know, close to it, somewhere around in there. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and get this stuff mixed up real quick and um, we'll start spraying. All right, guys, the uh, base is all on. Um, this thing here is ready for flat clear. That there, the hood still needs to dry up a little bit, but everything is um, pretty much ready. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here and show you guys this flat clear. It's uh, called Hot Rod Clear Flat. I've used it a few times in the past. It's made by Excel. <clears throat> pretty good stuff. It looks weird. Um, you guys can see it's kind of like it's got like talc powder or something in it that's what makes it flat but uh, it's just you know runny as can be it's like clear but it uh, definitely looks funny so we're going to go ahead and mix this up it has a couple different directions for a flatter look you mix up six parts clear to one part activator if you want it to look more semi gloss four to one but we're gonna do flat as can be so we'll do six to one and um, go ahead and get to shooting Alright guys, it says right on the can, one dry coat and one 
medium coat. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like after one kind of lighter dry coat. We're just going for a flat black so it's not going to be, you know, shiny and slick. And it, uh, once it flashes, the shine will go away. That's why it looks so shiny right now. We'll leave that set and we'll throw one more nice coat on it. Nice medium coat here in a minute. And um, we'll be back. All right, guys, the helmet is sprayed. I went ahead and moved it out of the way. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set this tripod up over here by the parts. And um, we're gonna go ahead and throw three nice solid coats over this. I don't know if I'll film all three coats because the stuff usually gets sticky and messes up the camera. I usually do one and then just finish it. So we'll be back. All right, everything is sprayed. Um, everything turned out pretty slick. Um, not much trash in it at all. Hood turned out nice and slick. Still needs buffed, but not bad. We'll go ahead and set this thing up on the tripod real quick, and we will um, put this hood on. All right, hood's on. We are going to give it a quick sand and buff. You can see a few pieces of trash in it here and there. Um, not too bad. Collar's not 100%. That's kind of why we recommend blending them in and not just, not just panel painting. Um, when you panel paint like that, it's like 99.9% .9 of the time you ain't going to have a hundred percent match especially when it comes to these metallic colors and you can see it it's not off a hundred percent you can see this kind of looks like this color right now in the camera um, but in this looks totally different here but there's just a lot of shadows playing games with you in here but the color's definitely not a hundred percent so we will go ahead and set this tripod up and uh sand and buff this thing real quick. All right, guys, we got the hood all sanded with 2000 grit, nothing special to it. Just 2000, a uh, wet sanding block and um, some water. And all you're going to do is sand all the orange peel, any, pieces of dirt, anything that got left behind. You can see it looks real dull, but um, we'll give it a quick buffing and buff it all back up, but not much to it. You can see once you start sanding it, um, all, anything that's high or low, any little imperfections really stand out. So if you dry it off, that's why you probably kept seeing me drying it off and then re-sanding and drying it off and re-sanding. But if you dry it off, you can, um, you know, see your imperfections real well and know where to sand a little bit better. So this thing's ready to buff up now. So we'll go ahead and get on that and um, put you guys back on the tripod. All right, guys, that is that. The hood is buffed. Slick as can be now. No more trash in it. It looks uh, dirty still because I still haven't washed it and waxed it, but uh, so there's a lot of compound on it. Beautiful hood. Kind of see the collar there. It's not terrible. Definitely recommend blending them in though guys and this is a prime example I wanted to go ahead and do this job this way. I typically don't do this. This is typically not uh, Something we do here. It's almost always a blend job. So you cannot tell the difference in colors But uh, I thought hey, why not? What a perfect time to um, you know make a video. So here it is um, 
Now, if you guys want to learn how to get these scratches out, I'm going to make a follow-up video. Um, these scratches do not look like they're through to the primer to me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sand them with some 2000 grit and try to get them all out and then polish them exactly like you guys seen me do the hood and uh, just a few drops of compound, you know, here and there and then polish it with your polishing pad. Um, but yeah, that's it for the hood and uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and um, thanks for watching. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the uh, next video so I can show you guys how to get out those scratches and um, these big old bug splatters like this that are kind of etched in the paint. I'm going to show you guys how to sand and buff that stuff out. So. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, that's all we got for this video. Um, make sure you follow along if you want to learn how to get those scratches out. We will have another video on that. And... Uh, our hood turned out slick. It's all done. Turned out pretty awesome. Um, the truck will be in later on this week probably and we'll get that bumper on. You guys won't get to see that unfortunately. Um, the charger turned out awesome. We will go ahead and give it a wash and um, wax after we make that other video. Um, thanks for watching guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends and your enemies, I guess. Thanks.